Hey everyone, my name is the Radman, and we are here for some more Farming Simulator 2015. Now the first thing that we're going to do is something that I may regret. Um, we're going to buy the Crone Big X, uh, because I've been working on harvesting some, uh, oh, what's the word? Uh, grass. I'll be right back, I gotta answer this. Okay, well that was weird, uh, right after I answered that, um, chat thing, my internet crashed. I don't know why. But anyway, now I'll just show you guys why I love the Crone Big X. Because it's huge! Humongous, haha. <laughs> and apparently it's also slippy slidey. Hmm. That's weird. But anyway, I'm trying to remember. I think if I go through this forest, I can get to where I need to be. Um, also, I've been cutting down some trees and chopping them up uh, using the wood chipper that we bought. And I sold the old wood chipper and one of the trailer trailers. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to use this to... Uh, greatly improve how long it takes us to, uh, you know, get grass and stuff. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you is enable widespreading. I think yeah, there's actually an animation for it. And uh, since I need to tether this stuff, I'm just going to do uh, widespreading first. And uh, unless they really change the mod from. Uh, Farming Simulator 2013, which by the way, this was actually in the game. It didn't have to be modded in, now it does. Um, I believe that it has an auto contouring feature, which means that even if I drive it like up the side of that hill, the mowers will contour to it to a point. But I don't know, I'm not going to test that out right now, but man, if I use this thing, like especially on that mowing mission for that field over there, it won't take me very long to finish. Um, but anyway, I think you can also turn pretty reliably without missing too, too much. But you do miss, you can just back up and get again. But anyway, I'm going to um, use this thing for, I'll probably use it for like uh, 20 or 30 minutes and then tether all of it. And uh, then I'm going to probably put a haystack along the side of that field, and then that way I can bale a few, you know, a few stacks of straw. And then besides uh, making some silage bales, we'll have everything that we need to make mixed ration for our cows. So anyway, I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I'm back, um, so I've just been doing a little bit of testing and I'll tell you what I've found. So um, if I don't wrap these green bales, they do stay as hay. Uh, so I don't actually need to tether them to get these to be hay, I can just simply bale uh, wet, wet um, grass like I've been doing. Um, I accidentally dropped a silage bale in here, so once I've gotten rid of these bales, I'm going to try and see if this can pick it up through the fence. Hopefully it won't like glitch out or anything, but if I can just get it loaded, then I can easily reset it uh, and then sell that silage bale. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is um, I've discovered that... Uh, yeah, I can use those two types of bales, which I can get from the same machine. Uh, all I gotta do is turn on wrapping on and off, so I'm probably gonna make a stack, except instead of uh, squeezed against the wall where they can fall in, I'll probably put them like in the middle of the road or something, because uh, the only problem with uh, the bales in this game is that for some reason, if you hit them from the side, the forks don't actually stick in. Like I'll show you, like if I hit this, oh, there's one on its side right now. So, and I'm using the mouse, so it does kind of take me a minute. Okay, so if I hit this, it just skids. But then if I hit this hay bale, they're both hay bales. 
Yep, if you hit it right, the it'll just slide on, and then it'll slide right off if you put it down, see? Yep. Anyway, uh, I'm going to speed up time after I go bail a little more of this stuff. But anyway, uh, once I have straw, I'm going to uh, get a load or two of this mixed ration stuff put in uh, so that, you know, it'll work to feed the cows with. So anyway, I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you guys um, what I'm going to do now, which is sell the old, the two old tractors. Now, if you remember when I got that first tractor, I was really excited. The same with the planter, but now that we have that upgraded planter, I'm kind of in need of cash because um, I realized that the machinery has gotten so big so fast that I only have one tractor, which is this tractor that can actually pull all the machinery. Um, so while I can still use this one for pulling that uh, overloader, the real problem is I need uh, a baler tractor, which, you know, the green one can work as a baler tractor, but I also need a tractor that can do, like, other stuff, like, um, not mowing. I need to sell the mowers. I might get some money out of them if I sell them. Because, uh, uh, the way I figure it now is now that I have that big mower, if it's an area that the big mower can't access, it's probably not, not worth my time. Um, yeah, oh, that's what I was trying to think of, was I need a tractor that can haul this planter. And I'm pretty sure that as funny as it would be to see, this guy wouldn't actually be able to do it. But I guess I can test it out. Plus, it kind of just looks cool. I wonder if it's got any animations on... No, it doesn't look like it. I was going to say, I wonder if that uh, front part, the seed holder part, has any type of animation on it, but it doesn't look like it. Um, the reason I'm keeping this around, by the way, is because if I decide to plant corn, uh, I won't have to buy a cultivator first. Uh, I probably should move it out of the way, though. I'm probably just going to stick it in one of those sheds over there since there's really not much use for it right this second. But anyway, I'm going to um, uh, take a quick uh, look at all the vehicles that I have left and uh, decide if there's uh, any that I still need and if I don't need them, I'll probably get rid of them. Uh, the only reason I'm keeping that small tipper by the around, by the way, is because it is a little bit useful for wood chips so I'll just leave that there oh I could sell that fertilizer spreader but I kinda wanna empty the fertilizer out of it and that small plow could still be useful plus it's not really worth enough and yeah most of my machinery doesn't actually need like upgrading or anything right now um yeah anyway I'm going to um, uh, skip ahead to actually harvesting this field because um, uh, a lot of things like the cows and stuff need to wait until the harvest starts. But anyway, I'll be right back. I'll probably show you guys like when I buy the cows and stuff if, uh, if I don't end up buying a tractor before then. I guess... Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing I was thinking of maybe is the possibility of buying one of these. But uh, since I found out that that baler can already make hay normally by just not wrapping a wet bale. And um, silage obviously by wrapping a wet bale. I probably don't need a wagon for anything. But yeah, I'll be right back. Um... So I just wanted to show you guys a glitch. So even though my um, mower is here, it just gives me the tooltip for direct selling, which isn't really that helpful. So I guess we'll have to sell it through the garage. And it's at the very end of the, well, not at the very end of the list apparently, but pretty close.
And there we go. We just made maybe enough money to buy another tractor. Uh, I'm I'm going to save before this because even though, especially since I'm trying to play this series a little more on the edge, I usually don't save before like major purchases. I usually kind of just go with the flow. But um, I'm so short on money that I want to make sure I buy the right tractor. So I'm thinking that this tractor would be good. It has 170 horsepower, so you know it'd be a good kind of middle ground tractor but I'm also thinking I should just get more money for this one or I could buy this one which is 220 horsepower so we're gonna buy this one red because that's my favorite color and let's go see if it works oh my gosh why did <laughs> Why didn't I buy one of these before? This is... <laughs> I don't know what I find so funny about just a red tractor. It sounds like it's dying. Um, uh, obviously, no front hitch. Oh, I was just gonna say, it's amazing the lighting doesn't glitch out, but it did lag out a little bit. Um, yeah, this looks like it's a pretty good tractor. Um, I'm thinking what we're going to put it on is probably going to be the planter because I was driving that uh, little tractor around on the planter a little more and I just, I don't think that it's powerful enough for it. As powerful as it is, I don't think it's enough. And uh, the reason I don't want to reset this, by the way, is, oh crap, it's done. Uh, I mean, the fields are ready to harvest. Uh, the reason I don't want to reset it is I've done a little bit of messing around with the order of the vehicles and uh, even though this is at the end of the list right now uh, I'm just trying to avoid resetting stuff because it screws up the list a tiny bit um, yeah so this tractor actually hmm, it is a little bit of a bi-directional in that it has a Okay, I am not going to use this as a utility vehicle that I'm going to be driving. I can use it for stuff that's not too precise, like if I have it plant. But I'm not going to drive it myself because I was just praising the fact that it's a bi-directional, but then I forgot that farming simulator physics plus bi-directional doesn't mean a good tractor, which, by the way, if you don't know what a bi-directional is, it's basically a tractor that the cab, uh, the seat can rotate around so that you can drive it engine end or window, window being the front, well, on this one the engine and the main window are in the same place, but in most of them they have the engine on the back with like uh, a single, usually like just a trailer hitch, and then on the front is all the hydraulic stuff, but I'm guessing whoever made this mod, uh, this is probably actually a, what the tractor would look like. And let's hook it up. See? Okay, this thing shouldn't have any problem with this beast. Uh, I'm going to park it over here, though, just so it's out of the way, because I forgot that I still need to um, uh, collect the straw. And uh, I deleted some of the... I shouldn't say I deleted. I cut down a few of the trees bordering the fields over there so hopefully our combine with bigger header can't get stuck because that was one thing I noticed in a test run I did of this farm or that combine I noticed that there was a really good chance it was going to get stuck on certain trees around the map so I kind of went out and removed them you know kind of just to preemptively get rid of them but anyway let's turn that off okay good Anyway, uh, there's my truck. I'm gonna do a little bit of the harvest. Um, I'm probably gonna bale about two stacks of bales, uh, cause I have another stack of hay bales and silage sitting back over by the mowing mission, which is uh, by the vegetable warehouse. But I still need to transport them over and I probably won't have time to Oh, and I need to go track down the dolly for this thing for when I start chopping. 
But, oh, that's my tractor. Anyway, I'm going to uh, leave it at that. Wait just a second. I have two twelve thousand. Oh, it's because that tractor is only like sixteen thousand. Well, duh. I was like, did I actually spend any money? Did I find a way to infinitely get tractors? No, it's just cheap. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh. I'll see you in a second. I don't know why I was about to do an outro there, because we're not we're not over time yet. Hey everyone, um, so I'm doing a harvest, and uh, I realized that like midway through the harvest, oh yeah, I never finished up this episode. I need to do a few more things. Um, so one thing that I'm doing here is I'm actually stockpiling a bunch of uh, stuff. Because I think from now on, until I need to, I'm only going to chop, because, uh, or chop straw, and pos- no, I'm not gonna chop grass, it takes too much, and I can make a lot of money off it either way. Um, but yeah, I have the farm going in there, I think I have five cows now, I'm gonna buy a few more obviously, because I made a bunch of money. But I realized that I make like $800,000 every harvest that uses straw because I have so many fields that I can fill up that bunker like once per harvest. And it usually gives me about two loads of stuff to sell. But anyway, um, what we're going to buy is something that I've been wanting for a while. Actually, I need to decide. Oh, uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I've been doing, actually. So, obviously, I cut down these two trees. I haven't got time to actually shred them yet. And then over here, if they'll render, this is where I've been, you know, kind of working right now. Um, but the wheat was ready, so I decided to harvest it instead of finishing up chopping all this stuff. Uh, I will finish it up. Um... One thing that I realized is, I kind of can realize the price of that red tractor now, because it, because it is quite, um, it, it's okay, but it's not the best tractor, so, you know, it's kind of a trade-off between it's an okay tractor and I needed a tractor. Um, so that's got me thinking, I think what we'll do is buy a better tractor. Um, not just because, yeah, there's only a few tractors that are better than this one, and that's this one, this one, and these two, which are practically equal, one just costs more because it's a quadra track, I think. Okay, I guess this is a hundred more horsepower, which I didn't realize before, but anyway, oh, also, I think hourly we make about five hundred dollars, um off of uh, all that stuff that I bought a few episodes ago, like the beehives and stuff. And I haven't got a milk check yet, but I'm pretty sure milk is worth quite a bit. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, either another one of these, because they're a good all-around tractor, they're not too expensive, when I have a million dollars, <laughs> and, um, yeah, they're, they're just good all-around tractors. Or, another thing that I was thinking about doing is we might look into possibly buying, like, um, this guy here, because even though this is nice, uh, this would be a, just a little bit nicer, except the thing is, where I'm using all bales, I'm not sure if the little feeder on that thing can actually break down bales, so where I'm baling everything and then just dumping it in when I need it, I'm not sure if I could even save any time by buying that. Because I think you can still dump, yeah, you can still dump stuff in the top, but I think it's designed more to make it easier to put in silage is what it is, but I don't use silage from the silage pit because I save all of it to be sold. Uh, another thing I was thinking of is we could buy the Buffalo and Scorpion King, um, 
the only thing about the buffalo is, like, the scorpion king would be really useful because there's a lot of those trees in, like, that forest by where I cut hay that uh, if I took out a lot of those really, really tall trees that are supported by the scorpion king, I could make a lot of money really, really fast. Uh, also, I've been wood chipping almost everything just because of how um, either curved or just big the logs are that I'm dealing with. But if I did go buy a Scorpion King, I'd probably end up using a Buffalo, and then I would just see if I make more with the uh, with uh, taking stuff to the sawmill. Because as it is right now, I haven't actually sold anything. Another thing that we could do though is um, we could get this sawmill, which is uh, by Maru, and it's actually, it's useful, and what it does is it makes pallets with boards and wood chips from logs, the, but I'm not sure how much money it's actually, each of those is worth, and it's $250,000. I think we also might buy one of these because uh, I realized that rather than Actually, I don't really need this now because I plan on chopping everything, so never mind. Um, another thing we might look into is getting the beast. That would actually take up basically all our money. But I don't really need to because, like, I was thinking it would be useful to have, but then I realized that this and this are essentially the same thing, except this you actually have to find a crane for it, so I don't know. Um, like I said, don't need those because... The problem is the farm is just, at this point, so big that I don't know what to buy. Except I do need tractors. So we're we're going to buy a tractor, and I'm going to live with that decision. Because uh, when the next harvest rolls around, I'll be rolling in money again. So we're going to buy two of those. Um, we're also going to buy one. We're going to buy the Scorpion King. And I'll get a little bit more money before I buy the buffalo, so I'll probably just buy it off camera. Anyway, uh, and I... The other problem with bales is it takes me so long to get them all, and I really want to put them all in the same place. But anyway... Is that upside down? Oh, okay, I know what it is. Whenever you get out of the vehicle, the... Like, animations and stuff freeze. And I think that's a known glitch where it does that the very first time you buy it, or it, it might do it when you reset it. But anyway, now I can go like up into those mountains uh, that I'm right in front of and chop down a whole bunch of those trees. Oh, also my egg thing has been really successful as you can see. I have like 600, 600 eggs, uh, even though it does cost a thousand dollars a day to keep that running. In fact, I think what we're going to do to finish it off is we're going to buy a whole bunch of cows. Oh, I can't quick click it. I have a double click button on my mouse that will let me, uh, if I was like buying sheep or chickens, I can really quickly just double click it with the button. Except I have to actually move the mouse to hit the OK. I just don't want to buy any sheep accidentally because I don't really see the need for sheep because I've heard that you that they're a lot less expensive. So, in the long run, you don't really make as much money from them as you do with cows. Uh, plus, I have a lot of straw, and I got, and uh, even though the straw isn't a very major part of the feed, uh, I'm pretty sure that they use up about as much bedding, if not more, than feed. So, I need a lot of straw either way, so, yeah. Anyway, how many do I have now? 37, okay. So, we should be making a lot more money now. Just spent eighty thousand dollars in cows. Let's go see. I want to see if it uh, actually animates all the cows because uh, that would be pretty funny to see. It probably would also be pretty laggy though. Okay, so these guys are just eating the food. Uh, that's not the right animation, by the way, my friend. You can eat the grass all you want, but if you're eating straw, I don't know what's wrong. And anyway, um, also, I forgot, we have this, uh, tank here that holds liquid manure, ooh, crap, jump out, and this that holds solid manure. So, uh, that's what I wanted to buy, actually. I want, I'm gonna buy just a really small slurry tanker, an 8,000 slurry tanker, 
and a tiny little manure spreader. Because, um, until we get, like, it, a lot of cows, or we might also need to empty out the biogas plant. I just remembered that the biogas plant, it doesn't produce solid waste, but it does produce liquid waste. So, eventually, we'll have to start draining that out and using it, but it takes quite a while to build up that much. But anyway, I'm going to finish this harvest. Um, I'll probably do another two or three off camera just so I can get like another million dollars. Um, I'll buy the buffalo and I'll probably buy like a few of these wind energy converters since you make 2000 an hour and that will counteract, that will over counteract the charge from the egg gatherer which is only a thousand dollars a day and I make more than that just from my beehives. But anyway, I'll, I would like to thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.